Hello guys, my name is Kamal, a student at SBMITB who is currently working on a paper entitled of Indonesian Minimal Business Competition in Innovating to Avoid Corruption. Based on the observation I have made through the paper, it shows that almost all companies engaged in the mini market business have tried to use all their resources to maintain their presence in Indonesia, both in terms of company systematic and reporting and policy supply. This research also shows that mini market business in Indonesia needs to innovate continuously. The conclusion is obtained from the market condition and the three main reasons discussed in my paper namely the increasing number of mini market in Indonesia. The second one is customer shopping behavior that is constantly changing and very unpredictable. And the last one is the customer buying behavior are increasingly looking for shopping convenience along with the current technological developments. Thus, the mini market business in Indonesia is proven to have to implement an innovation program given the very high urgency. In this video, I will explain innovations in the field of retail business mini market recently conducted by the Alphamart. We all are certainly familiar with the existence of Alphamart, which has a very large number of shops in Indonesia. No less than 14,000 Alphamart outlets have stood firm until the beginning of 2020. The concept that was carried from the very beginning they stood was not something very surprising. Just a mini market retail store in general that sells daily necessities. But in the middle of last year, Alphamart surprised the public by opening a design competition for the latest concept they prepared, the Alpha X. The futuristic concept, and very different from the most Alphamart who first stood, was the main attraction for every netizen who saw it. Finally, at the end of 2019, Peter Sumber, a variant of has officially launched their latest brand, Alpha X which has been designed so that it can become a millennial generation hangout destination in Indonesia by also bringing the concept of co-working space. This step certainly has a close relationship with their efforts to innovate in order to remain competitive in the midst of intense competition between the retail business in Indonesia, especially in the mini market segment. With the concept promoted by the Alpha X, of course, it's also reminded the citizens of Indonesia with the presence of 7 Eleven a few years ago that eventually had to stop operating in the mid of 2017. As we all know, 7 Eleven had become one of the most popular mini markets in the capital city in 2014, so, uh, for example. 7 Eleven recorded their biggest profit ever by generating around $70 million by only opening about 200 branches throughout the Jakarta. The concept that is carried out is indeed not identical with the Alpha Egg, which has a main selling value as a co-working space besides being a destination for hangouts, which has also adopted a system that is very different from Alpha Mart in general. 7-Eleven only focus on becoming a confessional mini market which can also be used as a hangout place. But over time, 7-Eleven customers have begun to enter their comfort zone where they no longer shop in large quantities and only utilize 7-Eleven facilities to gather for extended periods of time. This situation is worse by the government policies that prohibit the sale of alcoholic beverages since 2015, which caused 7-Eleven once again to lose one of their best selling products. Unlike 7-Eleven, which provide a uh, free service uh, like internet networks and space to gather, Alpha X sets a clear price for their customer. 
We also prioritize ready to use products, rather than selling products at retail like they do at Alphamart in general. And also prioritize the concept of co-working space rather than the concept of a hangout destination only. So far, there are already three branches of, Alpha, of Alpha X operate. The three of them are located near well-known universities in Jakarta, such as the University of Indonesia, Venus, and Bunda, to support their concept of co-working space. Alpha X serves their customer with a space that is not too broad, but very neatly organized. In addition to co-working space, Alpha X also provides a simple stage that can be used by the visitors with, of course, a certain conditions. Indeed. For the reviewing the launch of Alpha X, which is only a few months away from the COVID-19 pandemic in Indonesia, is a bad thing. However, so far Alpha X can handle it well as long as the continuation of the new normal protocol in Jakarta, of course, by only operating 50% of all the space that they can accommodate. A fresh concept, a comfortable place, a relatively cheap menu, and a com contemporary design. design. Uh, these factors are classified as very promising for the sustainability of the Alpha X. Surely, it will be very interesting to see Alpha X actions after the COVID-19 pandemic end, considering that netizens have been exasperated by the uploads in the Instagram of the Alpha X at Alpha X ID, which showcased the concept they had never been seen before. So, what is your opinion? Is this promising new concept the key to Alpha X success? or it will only have the same fate as the 7-Eleven. Share your opinion in the comment sections down below. Don't forget to like this video if you like it, and see you next time. Bye!